So that was a, that was a big fall. I came off the bike at 107 k an hour. I love our country, I really do. Threadbow and Redbow. It's creative. This is your fault. Fuck that. This is fucking your fault. Oh, fucking thing. That's your fault. Does yours have central locking? Yeah, with the key. You can actually come in so close. <laughs> Where do you want me to stand? Am I better off standing here? Yeah. Have you ever been here before, Jace? Actually, not this road. We've been to Threadbow and. Um... Yeah, fuck, mate, I've been to Los Angeles too, like, what the fuck's that got to do with Do you want to go up there? No. Hey? No. 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 Why not? That's not fucking steep. Yeah, it's fucking steep enough. Just up to there? Well, you're to walk up there. Yeah, just take the drone up. Let's go and have a walk. Come on. Nice day for a walk. It's amazing. Grass fires, obviously, that have, you know, opened up everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's just all burnt all the grass.
some awesome twisties coming down here through this absolutely bushfire ravaged filming it really only gives you part of the story to be honest it really does now I'm stuck behind this fucking idiot which is great I think that's uh, Lake Tumut or Tumut Lake down there. It's quite beautiful. Oh, just stopped off here down at uh, Tumut Lake. Oh, massive pressure built up in my ears coming down that mountain. Um, it's very, very pretty. Just leaving Talbingo and we're heading into Tumut now, which I don't think is very far away. It might be about 40 k's, I think. It's not very far. And um, it's just on 12.30, so we'll be just in time to have some lunch there and a coffee, sit down. We've, got, we've both got sore backs, so, you know, just have a sit down and relax for an hour or so and then. Uh, We'll head on into Albury, which is about two hours from there. It's about 200 kilometres from Tunic. Uh, Main street of uh, Tumut. This is quite cute, actually. Very cute. The tires looking right. No problem there. What's this shit? We're going over there. It's called Pie in the Sky. And it looks like it's Seniors Day in there. And it's two dollar pies for lunch. So when you're in Australia, you gotta have a meat pie, steak and kidney. What'd you get kidney for? Is that nice? Kidney? I don't care. I don't mind kidney. Yuck. Mm. And a cheese and bacon sausage roll. And look at this dessert that Jason got. And that's where we are there in Tumut, and we're going to Albury is there so the blue line obviously is a little bit faster apparently by only about 14 minutes but it's sitting on the highway so we're going to take the grey one which is that dude and get a bit of scenic route yeah. just going to do a u-turn we're just in a little town called Batlow B-A-T-L-O-W. Actually, this is where all of our red apples come from. Um, we just drove past all the Batlow or orchard, orchards. Um, Jason just told me this service station's gone up in the fires. Yeah, yeah, it most certainly has gone up. 
Wow. Look at that. Look at these guys. And this house is right up there. Carl's burnt. That's where we are. Do you know it? Do you know where that is? I've got the worst deer rake. Um, if you don't know where that is, it's um, it's not too far from this place because you might know this place. Know this place? Can you can you hear those cows? I reckon they're talking to us. Fucking mooing their heads off. What are you listening to, Jason? What are you listening to on your on your thing? A variety of shit. Like podcasts. You're on the open road and you're listening to but don't you want music? Doesn't it fill your heart with warmth music? You know, we're just countryside, like I'm listening to 70s, 80s, all the good stuff. Fuck my ears here. Brief little stop. And now we're off to Albury. About 80 k's away. And then we'll find some accommodation and uh, settle for the night. It's just on 10 past four in the afternoon. We've been going since about eight o'clock this morning. We've only done about 300 k's, but it's 300 k's of sort of twisty and windy roads. Um, so yeah, been a great ride though. coming into a town called Woomeragama. There you go. Woomeragama. You get it? Good. That was it. It's over. Back on the highway. Forty six Ks. I don't know what the fuck Jason's done. What the fuck are you doing? Stupid fucking thing. Wouldn't turn on with it connected. With it not connected. Ah. It's a sign of the times, isn't it? When we're on a motorcycle and having IT issues. You ready? So that's the end of the back roads. We're now joining up with the freeway. Uh. Finally, we're here. 
It's coming off the highway now. We're in Albury. So we're staying at the Commodore Motor Inn. Just check in there. It's a whopping three star. So we just got here, this is our room at the Commodore. Okay. Two guys travelling and yep. That's Joe's bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're not really laughing about it, are you? No, not really. So we're just in Albury, it's the morning after we've slept in today, which I think's okay. We just were a bit lost though as to where to go now because we sort of had a plan, but we're a bit behind on time. So I don't know, we might take off and go to Wagga. Wagga's probably about an hour and a half, two hours drive from here, ride from here. And then headed, hit it back on into Sydney the next day. Anyway, we'll see, we'll keep you posted. What happened? He just fucking coming dropped out his bike. The, coming out of the fucking rod and fucking lost balance as I was coming, oh, in, shit. coming around. Yeah, not done that. So is it okay? A little bit of damage on the saddle. Graze on the side of the motor. That's about it, is it? That's fucking not bad. Well, it's good. That's actually yeah, pretty good. Fucking that, that, and the motor grabs it. And I turned. I was just very inching forward, and fucking, I, I was, it came over a bit too far. Yeah, and then the weight and got I, the better of you. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't sort of. There's a bit of excitement for the morning. Fucking hell! But hey, I've done that. Do you remember <laughs> that brand new, <laughs> brand new BMW years ago? Was that ten years ago? No, we were down oh, at, that's, that's at the motel. <laughs> I dropped it on its side. <laughs> Another gorgeous day on the road. It's nearly 28 degrees. <laughs> it's beautiful riding weather, as you can see. We're just on the highway from Albury to Wagga. And there's lots of trucks. That's about it. Which is the main highway that runs between Sydney and Melbourne. So obviously we've left uh, left Albury this morning and uh, bypassed Wagga and uh, we're just going to do a big one, we're just going to run straight back into Sydney now so it's going to be a total of about 600 kilometres today uh, which is a big ride by any means and uh, that'll put us in just shy of probably 2000 k somewhere there. Uh, there's probably not going to be a lot to film. At the moment we are about 420, 430 k's roughly out of Sydney. I'm not thirsty. Bye, buddy. That's it. Bloody hell. Is that enough? 
Hi, Koya. Jason's got 38 kilometres of fuel left and it's 44 kilometres to the next service station. So, race against time. So I guess I'll be getting the fuel he's broken down. So I made it. You're lucky. You'll run the close. Hey? Yeah. Put all the stats on my video. Because <laughs> I would have been fucking happy, yeah. Running up to the servo to get fuel and for an irresponsible person that can't fucking read a fuel gauge. So 354, I reckon we're running on zero for 10Ks at least. So. I think close. So Josh, do you remember this stop? This one's for you, buddy. Is that the biggest sheep's ass you've ever seen? <laughs> We're in Goulburn and uh, we've just had a big run. Uh, we've just done nearly 300 kilometers since the last stop. So 280 something Ks, which is a very long stint without getting off the bike. That's a long stint. Anyway, so we're just having a stretch now, coffee and whatever, and then we'll kick on, still about 200 odd k's to go. So, we keep rolling. Just leaving Goulburn to Sydney, so about 200 k's back to Sydney. Uh, this is a little bit eerie. We thought we'd pull off the um, highway. We're at a, unfortunately, a very infamous place in southwestern New South Wales called the Belangelo State Forest. Um, those Australian viewers watching this will know exactly where I am, will know of where I am. Um, internationals, I guess you can Google it. Uh, it's unfortunately the home of the the worst backpack murderer that he was kidnapping backpackers and, and murdering them. Um, we just haven't got past, so I just wanted to come and inspect that there is a memorial here to celebrate the lives of those that were murdered. So we're just going to go and um, check out the memorial, which is something I want to do. I'm not going to give that, um, i try not to swear, I'm not going to give that person, that not a person, that piece of shit a name. So I'll let you Google it and you can, you can work out who that was and, and whatever, but this is the site where he brought innocent victims and uh, they didn't come out of this forest alive. So let's go and check it out. This could be death defying. Hey, I'm, I'm Mary <laughs> Therese. How are ya? Good. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> Place to die. He dragged her body all the way down there, covered it up like he was ashamed. He's the same guy. I knew there were more bodies here. I knew it. So I do think it is fair to say that there is a serial killer at work. We're setting up a task force we'd like you on it. This is where we know our killer has been. Malanglo State Forest.
very peaceful here. Um, it's amazing, it's like seriously dense forest. I just can't help but feel how frightened these victims would have been coming out here with some madmen. I mean, there's nothing here. Look, this forest after forest, and we're kilometres in. Like we've been riding for about 10 minutes now. And I really don't want to stack it over the troubles in here because uh, that won't be great. Looks like he's growing more comfortable with what he's doing. We saw them on that. We go after this bloke. Hard. Still saying it's 15 minutes from here. Still saying 15 minutes. Was this really dumb? Well, making us, because we were supposed to go down that road, but it looks like that road's blocked. So now it's actually. Now it's telling us to, to go right up here. Because um, there's actually roads in this forest, there. Yeah? And then, you know, all the way around there. I don't know, I guess we should just keep trying, yeah? Not great to be here in the dark. And what he did to those kids, he's enjoying himself. That's why he kills. So I think we're going to leave um, now uh, because, I don't know, we just took this right turn road and it's brought us back up to this long road, <coughs> which is actually the road we came in on. And I've got to tell you, I feel relieved that I'm out of there. So I don't really want to go back in and the sun's setting and um, I think we just need to take that as a sign. Um, and get out of here. I might just launch the drone though for 10 minutes just to show you exactly how dense this forest is. It's amazing. Those poor people. running out of battery on the GoPro. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's your glimpse of the Belangolo State Forest. And I'm quite happy to never come back. So that was that. Um, now I will kick back on now, get back on the highway.
So there you go, we just uh, pulled up back into Sydney. It's about nine o'clock at night. We've actually done pretty well today, Jason. Yeah, yeah. We left Albury at one, punched out 540 k straight, because we haven't eaten um, since probably about 12, 12.30. Have a burger and another 30 or 40 k's we'll be home, so it'll be about 580, nearly 600 k day today. So pretty big day, pretty big effort. We actually feel okay, funny enough. Well, that was an awesome ride. It's now the morning after. We uh, ended up punching it right back through to Sydney last night. So we did uh, about 620 k's yesterday. So we didn't get home till probably about 10 or 11 o'clock last night, 10.30 last night. Uh, so we were both pretty exhausted. Um, and it was an awesome ride. Thanks very much, Jace, um, for some great memories. And I hope you guys enjoyed the series uh, for this particular vlog. Uh, we will be punching another one out very shortly. Um, and uh, just don't know where we're going yet, but uh, there'll be more to come. Stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.